Okay, for 3b, we notice that the x uh, does not come first there uh, in the exponent. So first, we have to do a little work with this one to get it into the proper form before we start uh, graphing it with transformations. So the first thing is we have to, uh, for this one, switch the order around. So what I'm going to do first is write this as negative x plus 1. So switch the order uh, for that one. But also, the x has to be positive, so that way I move it in the correct direction. So what I'll do after that is I'm going to do y equals 2. I'm going to factor out a negative, and I get x minus 1 minus 4. So this would be the next step I would go to uh, would be take it out to here. So I factor out a negative. The x is positive. Don't forget you got to change the sign of that one as well. And so this equivalently is exactly the same form as the original one. So what that's telling me now is that I need to move the graph one place over to uh, the right. So with this one, they said they want you want you to start with the base graph of y equals two to the x. So that's going to be the first one that I'm going to graph. So uh, with this one, I'm going to again start with my key points. I know that it's going to have to go through across the, the uh, y-axis at 1. If I put a 0 in there, anything to the 0 power is 1. Now if I put in the next point here at 1, I get 2. So I get another uh, point right there, and this is two points of, that I can use, two key points I can use. I could also use 2, 4 as well, but these two will be enough if you know what the basic uh, curve is going to be. So again, we have a horizontal asymptote at 0, it goes through one and it goes up that way. So not quite as steep as the, the three of the X graph. Now the next one I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the shift. So I'm gonna do two to the X minus one. So I'm just gonna do that part first. Uh, so minus means that we're shifting the graph one place to the right. If there was a plus here, I'd be moving it to the left. But since there's a Negative there, we move it to the right. So all these, these two points here get shifted over uh, one to the right. So what was originally at 0, 1 is now going to be at 1, 1. What originally was at uh, 1, 2 is now going to be at 2, 2 goes through. So now the graph is going to look something like this for the next one. I got shifted over one place to the right. Let's now apply the negative in the exponent position. So we're now going to do y equals 2 to the negative x uh, minus 1. Now what that does, because you have a negative in the exponent position, that's going to reflect the graph this way. It's going to flip it over the vertical axis. Now the pivot point of this is actually this point right here. So that, that point is going to be your pivot. So on our new graph that we're going to draw, the graph is still going to go through that same spot. It's still going to go through 1, 1. And everything else gets switched. So like this one, for instance, instead of going through here, it's actually going to be reflected over to that point. So it's going to go over, uh, instead of going 1 to the right and up 1, it goes 1 to the left and up 1 instead. So it looks like that. So the graph now is going to be falling. It's going to come down, hit these two points, and do something like that. So that got reflected over and the pivot point is this one right here, not the axis. The pivot point's that one. So that graph looks like that one. And then I have a minus 4. So I got to do 2 negative x minus 1 and then minus 4. So now these two points here are going to be shifted down uh, 4 units. And so I, this right here at it was at positive 2. I'm going to move it down 4 down to here. The one that's there, that gets shifted down 4 also. So that, that one there is at 1. It's going to move down 4 units, which means it's going to end up right here. So let me erase the equation here so we have some space for it. Uh, so it's going to end up right here at that location. The horizontal asymptote, uh, that one right there was at zero, that gets moved down four also, which means that here at negative four, you're going to have a dotted line running through that way. So the graph is going to look the same as this, only it got shifted down four units, which means the graph itself is going to do something like that. It's going to 
Originally it was at zero. The whole thing got shifted down four units, and that's why we have that. And these two points also got shifted down four units. This right here, uh, that would be your final graph.